Hi all, welcome to the complete JavaScript beginner tutorial by Code Affection. In previous videos, we have discussed what is JavaScript, JavaScript engine and its version history. Now it's time to write our first JavaScript program. Before getting into it, let's talk about required development environment for JavaScript. Let's start with tools to write JavaScript program. To write JavaScript program, we have various text editors starting from Notepad to more sophisticated IDEs like VS Code, Sublime, Atom, etc. The choice of text editor is yours. But I prefer VS Code editor by considering the features it offers. If you are already a fan of other text editor, go for it. Else, please download and install VS Code editor if you haven't yet. Now, runtime environment. Even though JavaScript can be executed in many ways, here in this entire JavaScript course, we'll be using a web browser, either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Unlike other programming languages, we don't have to install a runtime environment software separately for JavaScript. Web browser already comes with the JavaScript engine to run our JavaScript program. We have already discussed that in our previous session. Finally, we have IDE extensions. There are some extensions which can be added to our IDEs to make the development more easier. We will mention them when it is required. Now let's start writing our first JavaScript program. Do you know we can write and run JavaScript code within our web browser directly? Here is my web browser Google Chrome. Now we have to open developer console. For that right click here then click on inspect. Now within this console tab here we can directly write JavaScript code. Now let me zoom this browser so that you can see what I'm typing here. For example, if you want to do math operation in JavaScript like addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. We can do that here directly. 5 plus 3, hit enter to see the output of the operation. Like that, if you want to print a message into this console from JavaScript, you can do this console.log and then within a pair of parentheses like this, we can pass the message something like hello world. Hit enter to see the output. We will be explaining how this statement works in JavaScript. For now, let's understand how to get started with JavaScript. Whatever JavaScript code you can write can also be executed with this console tab. But this tab is just to test how things work in JavaScript. For a real JavaScript project, we will be executing JavaScript code along with HTML page. And there is one more easy way to execute JavaScript exclusively for learning purpose. Where an HTML page is not required, we'll discuss that in a bit. Now let's look how to run JavaScript within HTML page. So here we have a fresh folder within it. First of all, I'll be adding an HTML file. I will name it as index.html. For now, I will edit this file within a notepad. So right click on it, then open with notepad. If this is the first time you are seeing someone coding HTML, just understand this. The HTML file of a website contains elements to be shown within the web page like image, paragraph, heading, video, etc. First of all, within an HTML file, we have to declare the document type like this, doc type HTML. So with this doc type added here, our web browser identifies this file as an HTML. You might have already heard this HTML is a markup language, meaning it uses tags to add elements within the web page. So this is how an HTML tag looks like. So here we have the open tag ABC and after that we'll be having the corresponding close tag. If there is a content to be shown within this element, it can be added here. Okay. In an HTML file, there are two important tags, head and body. So first of all, here we have the head tag and then body tag. Now let me save this. Now let's open this file within web browser. So here we have the HTML file. Double click on this file to see the output. Currently this website is empty. If you want to add elements within this website, you can add that within this body tag here. For now, let me add a paragraph here. Let me save this and reload this page. So here we have the paragraph. Like this, we can add elements into a website using this body tag here. Elements added into this head tag 
won't be shown. Inside this head tag, we'll be adding information about this website. Most of the time, they are called as metadata. They are useful for search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. Now, let me show you how to run JavaScript within this HTML file here. For that, first of all, within this head tag here, we can add this script tag. So here we have the both open tag and close tag for the script. In between them, we can add our script. Normally, using JavaScript, we can add HTML elements or delete or modify existing elements like this paragraph here. For now, I will just keep this JavaScript code here simple as possible. Let's print a message into this website console tab. So right click, inspect. Now within this console tab, we need to print the message hello world like we have done before. So here we go console.log and here we have the message hello world. Console.log is a function to print message into this console tab. We will discuss them later. Now let me save this and let's check whether it is working or not. Let's reload this page here. Boom. So here we have the message saying hello world. Now let me try the same for mathematical operation. So I will just copy this line from here and let's paste that below. Instead of just printing this message here, I will try to do the math operation like we have done before. 5 plus 3. Let me save this. Let's reload this page here. That's it. Here we have printed the message after this math operation 5 plus 3. So this is how we can run JavaScript within an HTML file. This script tag can be added either within this head tag or within this body tag here. Let's try this script tag within this body tag here. So let me cut this and paste that here within this body tag here. Let me save this and reload this page. Still it works fine. So you can execute JavaScript from both of these tags, head and body. In a practical project, as a best practice, we'll be creating a separate JavaScript file for all of the JavaScript code. And then we will mention that file within this HTML file here. So here we have the folder where we have already created an HTML index.html. Let's create another file for JavaScript. So right click new text document. I will name this file as script.js. JavaScript file has the extension JS. Now let's open this file within notepad. Now let's move this JavaScript code into this separate JavaScript file script.js. For that, I will cut this JavaScript code and then let's paste that here. So here we have the both print statement. Let me save this. Now we just need to mention this script file within this HTML file here. For that, we need this script tag just like this with this attribute or additional information SRC, which means source of the JavaScript file. In this case, we just need to pass the relative path of this script file in respect to the HTML file here. Since both of these files resides in a same folder, we just need to provide the path file here. So script.js. So this is how we can refer an external JavaScript file. Okay, let me save this and back to the web page here. Reload this. Still, it works fine. Now, instead of keeping this script file here, let's assume there is a separate folder for script files. So let's create that folder here, scripts. Let's move this script file into this folder here. Then the relative path of this script file, scripts, then forward slash name of the file, which is script.js. So this is how we can provide the relative path of the script file in respect to the HTML that we are currently working with. So far, we have been using Notepad for writing our first JavaScript program. Now, let me open this project within Visual Studio Code or VS Code. So let's close this Notepad here. After installing VS Code, once you right click on a folder, you could see this option open with code. Click on it. So here we have the files 
within the directory. So here we have the index.html and here we have the script file. I really like this IDE because of its lightweight and aesthetics. You could already notice the formatting of codes with proper indentation. The code is highlighted with various color codes. You will be familiar with the features it offers as we go forward. Back to the project, in JavaScript, it is optional to add semicolon at the end of each statement like this. Now let's discuss the final method for running JavaScript with a VS Code extension called Quarka. So first of all, you have to install this extension here, Quarka. Once you install this extension, you don't need an HTML file to run JavaScript. So it will be really helpful for students of JavaScript. So all you have to do, just go to this extension tab here, then install Quarka. I have already installed this extension Quarka in my IDE. Once you install the extension from our JavaScript file, just use this shortcut Control Shift P, which open the command panel for the IDE and then just type quarka.js start on current file. Or you could use this shortcut hold control then press K release both of them then press Q. Now let me select this option here. Boo. So here we have started quarka from this JavaScript file. Now you could see the JavaScript output along with each JavaScript line. All things we have discussed here is the in my GitHub repository for JavaScript nodes where I have split files into session by session. I will tell you how the project works in next session. GitHub project link is there in video description. In next session, we will also be discussing comments in JavaScript. That's all for this session. Please consider subscribing to this channel Code of Action and also thumbs up and share this video with your friends and colleagues. See you in next session.